Hello, 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 everybody. Pastor Mackenzie Kambizi coming your way today as we just but thank God for these uh, uh, days as they come to an end in 2021. Uh, it is an amazing, an amazing journey that we have this final two weeks that we just need. I do believe there's still more in this final two weeks that God can do greater for you and I in this remaining days of 2021 that will just but make it doable for us to be successful in 2022. So excited to see you, my friends. Thank you, sir. I love you, Brother Douglas, my man. Uh, many, many years as friends and brothers. And I just want to share with us today um, on progress, on purpose, where we are practical, relevant, and biblical. We just want to talk about something very critical here today. I want to discuss something um, that I've decided to entitle Sparks from the Anvil. You know, when you, when you are sharpening uh, an axe or sharpening a, a digging a hole, you, 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 there are sparks that come from there. So I just want to share with us some things that uh, they've just dropped from my study and my focus in 2021 just to drop into your spirit as you go on. Just invite somebody, share with somebody that progress and purpose is here and we are getting started. Let's pray. Father, thank you so much for this moment. Give us wisdom and clarity. In Jesus' name we do pray. Amen. Look, I want us to look into one principal thing that, I've dis that I'm discovering in my study and just living life, observing life is this one thing that um, uh, you need to deny the lesser in order to gain the greater. You need to deny the lesser in order to gain the greater. When you look through the scripture, you're going to discover that even our relationship with God demands that we deny the lesser in order for us to uh, gain the greater. And the same is true in everything that you do in your life. If you're going to get greater, there must be a denial of the lesser. In other words, there has to be a bigger reason why I want, in order for me to get the big, I must deny the small. Does that make sense? So I'm going to share with us here, how do I deny the lesser in order for me to gain the greater? So whatever it is that you're doing in your life, in your career, in your family, in your walk with God, uh, in your physical health, uh, in you, you, there has to be a denial. They, this relationship of denial in order for me to gain is very, very important. And so now in this, as we come to the end of the year, I just want to talk about this thing very amazingly, uh, how we can deny the lesser in order for us to gain the greater. This is extremely important. It, it matters for you to do that. This is uh, throughout scripture, I see it everywhere that in order for somebody to get the greater, you must deny the lesser for, uh, for Abraham here to deny his family, his country, his kindred in order for him to gain the greater father of all nations. So when you look at it, it's the same thing in our salvation story. I must deny myself, die to myself in order for me to become, to gain the greater eternal life and life forevermore. So here it is. How do I deny the lesser in order for me to gain the greater. Here it is. Number one, you got to watch your words. Watch your words. Watch your words. If you are to deny the lesser in order for you to gain the greater, you better watch your words. Proverbs chapter 13 and verse 3. I want you to read that one on your own. Proverbs chapter 13 verse 3. It is very, very critical when it comes to uh, denying the lesser in order to gain the greater. In order for that to become real, you must watch your words. Words matter. Words matter. Men of us, we lose the greater and we encourage the lesser because of our words. We don't watch our words. You must watch your words. The second thing in order for you to uh, deny the lesser, in order for you to gain the greater, you must restrain your actions. Learn to restrain your actions. It matters. Restrain your actions. Restraining your actions will help you to de in the denial of the lesser in order for you to gain the greater. Not everything that you feel like doing is doable. <laughs> you can't just do it because you feel like doing it. If you are going to deny the lesser in order for you to gain the greater, whether it's in your career, whether it's in your work with God, whether it's in your dating, whether it's in your marriage, you must restrain your actions. 
It matters what you do matters when it comes to what you, if you want greater. And the third thing you discover, and you can find that one in uh, Restraining Your Actions in Proverbs chapter 19, verse 11. The book of Proverbs chapter 19, verse 11 uh, will empower that, that restraining uh, of, of actions in order for you to deny the lesser so that you can gain the greater. And number three, you must master your moods. Mm -hmm. You must master your moods, M-O-O-D-S. If you are going to deny the lesser in order for you to gain the greater, you must master your moods. It's an amazing thing how many of us miss out on the greater that God wants for our lives because our moods are everywhere. You know, I, I didn't do it because I didn't feel like it. All I did it because I felt like it. Many of us are moods driven. So in order for you to restrain the lesser so that you can gain the greater, you must master your moods. You can't have a pendulum of mood swings. That's what we call them, just, just swinging. Whenever you swing, wherever you swing, that's what it happens depending on what is swinging and how you are swinging it. If you are going to deny the lesser in order for you to, to, in order for you to gain the greater, you must master your moods. It matters. It is very, very important that we get to a point where our moods don't master us, but we master our moods. In other words, there are moments when we are in a funky mood. The world does not have to go funky because I have a funky mood. Anybody listening to me out there? It matters for you. If you're going to deny the lesser in order for you to gain the greater, the greater demands that you master your moods. All right? It matters. You find this in Proverbs 25, verse 18. Proverbs 25, verse 18 will help you out with the mastering of the moods. And then here it is. Time is moving very fast. Time is moving fast, and you must be careful with your time. So in order for me to, to, to deny the lesser, in order for me to, to, to gain the greater, here it is. I must stick to my plan. Learn to stick to your plan. Learn to stick to your plan. You must have a schedule, you must have a plan, and learn to stick to it. See, many of us are just uh, driven. We are like people on a journey who, where, wherever there's something happening, if there's an accident on the highway, we end up sit, staying there as if that's where we were going. Life has so many ups and downs on this journey called life that if you don't learn to stick to your plan, you're going to be distracted by anything that comes your way. You know, sickness can distract you. Happiness can distract you. Lack of money can distract you. Having money, anything can be a distraction on the journey to destiny. So if you're going to master and get where you're supposed to go, you must learn to deny the lesser in order for you to gain the greater. And one important thing in the denial of the lesser in order for you to gain the greater is you must stick to the plan. Stick to your plan. Have the ability to stick with it, stay with it, go with it. You may be slow, it may be fast, it may be cold, it may be hot, it may be mountains, it may be valleys. Stick to the plan. All right, it helps, you know, denial of the lesser in order for you to gain the greater. Stick to the plan. All right, and here's number, the, the next thing that is very important. These are just sparks from the anvil, just lessons learned on the journey of life that I just want to share with you. Maintain your health. Maintain your health. It matters. Uh, stick to the plan. You can use Ephesians chapter 5, verse 15 and 16, and maintain your health. Proverbs 23, verse 2, it says, listen, if you are given up to glatten, put a knife to your throat. <laughs> maintain your health. If you are going to move from the lesser, uh, denying the lesser in order to gain the greater, you must maintain your health. Do you, do you know how important your health is? I mean, your health is so personal that no matter how spiritual you are, how rich you are, whatever stuff it is, there's one thing that controls everything, and that's your health. All right? So it matters as we come to the end of this year, as we uh, skip over into 2022, that, my friend, you, you maintain your health. You, you need to maintain your health. Eh? It's important for you to maintain your health, man. Go for a walk. Go for a run. Go for a jog. Eat more vegetables and drink much water and put fruits into your diet and less meats in your... You need to maintain your health. You just need to do it. You need to do it. It, it matters for, for because your health is very critical. You know, the older you get... Can I say this to you? Right. Can I say this? I'm, I, yes, I'm going to say it. Today is the youngest you ever be. Today is the youngest you'll ever be. 
No matter how old you are, this is the youngest you'll ever be. In other words, you are getting older by each day. So in order for you to deny, it, it matters. This principle, this one principle can, can change 2021 and empower 2022. Deny the lesser in order to gain the greater. It matters. Learn to deny the lesser in order for you to gain the greater. Uh, how do I do that? Number one, watch your words, man. Watch your words. Proverbs 13, 3, uh, uh, restrain your actions. Don't do everything because you feel like doing it because you can't just do because you feel like doing. Learn to restrain your actions. Proverbs 19, 11, and master your moods. Master your moods. You, 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 you don't have to have moods that people can read and see before they hear what you got. <laughs> you have something to offer to the world. Don't let your moods, in other words, minimize your deficits. Some of us have got mood swings that mess up the package of the message that we got because people are, are driven away by our moods before they hear what we are destined to deliver into their lives. So it matters. You must learn to master your moods. Proverbs 25 uh, verse 18 matters. It gives us this powerful rendition there. A city, you don't want to be like a city without a wall because your mood swings, they drive people away and they run those who are supposed to be your audience away. So master your moods in order for you to deny the lesser uh, in order to gain the greater and stick to the plan. Stick to the plan. Time is running out. Stick to the plan. Have a plan. Stick to it. Don't matter how the plan looks like. You know, every plan is tentative. Am I, am I helping somebody out there? Every plan is tentative. I want you to understand that. Which means plans change, but have a plan. Have something to change. All right? It matters, you know. Uh, uh, and then maintain your health. Maintain your health. Proverbs 23, verse 2. Today is the youngest you'll ever be. Today is the youngest you'll ever be, is the youngest I'll ever be. Maintain your health. Sleep uh, those many hours. It matters if you're going to go where God wants you to go, and, and you need your health to go there. You need your health to go there. If you have to take medication, take medication for it, all right? If it's given by a doctor, get it. You know, uh, you know. sometimes the high blood pressure is too high, and you need medication for it. Please go for it. Maintain your health. Walk if you have to, uh, 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 jog if you have to, uh, drink water if you maintain your health. That is the biggest gift you can ever give to yourself, all right? And here's the other thing that is very important. Decide to advance. Decide in advance. Decide in advance. This is a very important point. I've discovered that many people are locked down in the past, not going where they're supposed to go because we have no decision till everything is said and done. But the wise decide in advance. Let me show you this verse, Proverbs chapter 13, verse 16. Very powerful verse, Proverbs chapter 13 and verse 16. It's a very, very powerful, powerful thing. If we are going to move to greater, we must learn to decide in advance. You, you must make a decision in advance. It matters that I'm not going to quit before any trouble comes. I've already made up my mind in advance. I am not going to quit. Listen to Proverbs 13, verse 16. It reads this way, very powerful text. It says, every prudent man, every prudent man acts with knowledge, but a fool lays open his folly, all right? And the living translation, uh, living translation version of the Bible, it says every wise man decides in advance. It matters for you to, to, to decide in advance. In other words, you are not going to quit in 2022. You are going to make it in 2022. You, it, listen, more money is coming your way in 2022. Uh, you know what? Better, healthier relationships are coming. When you decide in advance, you can look for it. And let me tell you something. When you look for it, you'll find it. There's a self-fulfilling prophecy in life that whatever you, the Bible puts it this way, as a man thinketh, so is he. In other words, there's a self-fulfilling prophecy on each and every one of us. Whatever you think, whatever you decide, that you'll become, that you'll get. So decide in advance for greater. Does that make sense? This is just pucks from the animal that I'm just throwing out there. All right, then the other thing that matters if we're going to deny the lesser in order for us to gain a greater. Learn to deny the lesser in order to gain greater. Something very important, enlist support. Enlist support. If, if, 
your destiny is so big that you can't do it alone. Your destiny is so big, you can't do it alone. It, it, there is no self-made man or woman in the world. It just doesn't work. All right? It just doesn't work. So, so it matters for you to understand. You need to enlist support. Ecclesiastes chapter 4, verse 9 and 10, it says, two are better than one. One, two are better than one. If one is cold, they warm each other up. You know, if a battle comes in, one covers the back of another. In other words, it matters in least support. Even Jesus Christ, when he came down here, he had 12 men around him to accomplish the mission that he had. Your destiny is going to take more than you. You cannot talk about, I don't care about people. Get better relationally. Get better when it comes to talking to people, listening to people, uh, uh, in being friendly to people it, you know if you want to have friends be friendly yourself it matters if you are going to move from lesser to greater you must enlist support everybody needs support all right so so it matters as the year is coming to an end and we're about to enter into this new year i'm just i'm just encouraging you to deny the lesser in order for you to gain the greater you 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 don't have to like everybody who is on your support team you really don't. I mean, it's an amazing thing that Jesus, even on his way to the cross, uh, you, you remember if you read the Bible like I do, <laughs> that Jesus on his way to the cross, he needed support. He needed help. And a black man from Africa carried the cross. Yes, Jesus, it was his cross. But Jesus got so weak on the journey from the drainage of blood and the bidding that they actually caused a black man to carry the cross all the way to the hill with G Jesus was to be hung on the cross, but the black man had to help Jesus carry the cross. If you are going to move from the lesser to the greater, you must enlist support. Two are better than one. It matters, my friend. And here's the other thing I wanted to have, the last two that I'm out, uh, that is very, very important. If you're going to deny the lesser in order for you to gain the greater, you must focus on the reward. Focus on the reward, all right? The empowerment for you to deny the lesser so that you can embrace the greater is going to come from uh, the desire, uh, this, 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 this resilience, this persistence to focus on the reward. In other words, going to the gym is hard. Going to the gym is very hard. It, it's, uh, it hurts, it's painful, it's sore, it, you know, it's but 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 you want muscle, you want to be healthier, don't you? So in order for you to to go for that which you need or want, which is being healthier, uh, and dropping that which you don't want, the lesser which is being unhealthy, uh, you must focus on the reward. You must focus on the reward. It matters when you read in, in, in Hebrews chapter 11, 24 to 26, even Moses, Moses was faithful in his calling. Uh, he despised the shame, uh, even Jesus, the Bible says he despised the shame, uh, focusing on the what? Uh, he, desp he despised the, the, the shame because of the, 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 the reward that he had said before him. Moses, uh, he despised being Pharaoh's daughter, son, because of the reward that was set in front of him. So as you go into 2019, 2021, sorry, and moving into 2022, if we are going to, in order for us to deny the lesser, in order for us to gain the greater, we must focus on the reward. Going to school is hard, but the reward of going to school is greater. Uh, going to the gym is hard, but the res reward of going to the gym is greater. Um, whatever it is that you're looking for, I, you know, I don't want to define it so that people kind of, I want you to define it yourself. Focus on the reward. All right. It matters when you focus on the, on the reward. Jesus despised the shame of the cross for the joy that was set before him. It was the reward that made Jesus go through the pain and the, 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 uh, the, the, the cross because the joy was greater. The reward is always greater than the cost. So as you deny the lesser, in order for you to gain the greater, you must focus on the reward. And here's the last one that I wanted to have. Uh, this is very important. In your denial of the lesser, in order for you to gain the greater, uh, claim a promise from God's word. All right? Claim a promise. Get to a place where 
Your actions are defined by, a, by promises uh, from God's word. Before you do anything, whether it's a dream, whether it's an action, pray and claim a promise from God's word that empowers that action that you're about to do. Let me tell you something, because every promise of God has the power of God and he has the presence of God, which means, listen, the person of God is tied to every promise of God. Ooh, I feel like preaching. Slow down, preacher. Claim a promise from God's word because every promise of God has the power of God because it has the presence of God, which comes with the person of God. Ooh. Whenever you do what you do, this just sparks from the animal. As you go on as a believer, as you are praying to God to deny the lesser in order to gain the greater. It doesn't matter whether it's in your personal life, social life, spiritual life, physical life, mental life, financial life. You must deny the lesser in order for you to gain the greater. And there's a promise for every decision you ever make in your life and is found in the word of Almighty God. So learn to claim a promise from the Word of God. 2 Timothy 1 7. 2 Timothy 1 7. I, I, can, I, I, I need to read this one. 2 Timothy 1 7. One of the promises that I love to claim uh, from the Word of God is a very powerful one. 2 Timothy 1 7 is very powerful. It says, For God has not given us a spirit of fear. For God has not given us a spirit of fear, uh, but of power and of love and of a sound mind. I'm claiming that. God has not given us a spirit of fear, but God has given us a spirit of power. God has given us a spirit of love, and God has given us a spirit of a sober, sound mind. So child of God, in order for you to deny the lesser, in order for you to gain the greater, claim a promise from God's word. Find a promise that you stand on. Let me tell you, wherever God's promise is, God, God's power is. God's power is because the presence of God is there. And wherever the presence of God is, the person of God is there. So may the word of God take a preeminence in your life. May it become a priority in all that you do. The word of God. Love it. Love the word of God. And I tell you, it will empower you to deny the lesser in order for you to gain the greater. Blessings on you as you move from 2021 into 2022. And may the Lord's mercy, may his face shine. May he cause his face to shine upon you. I know God has got a greater plans and purpose through you. Don't give up on God. Progress on purpose. God loves you. He will give you power to deny the lesser in order for you to gain the greater. Blessings on you, my friend. See you tomorrow. God willing.